Hey, what's all the hubbub? Hey everyone, welcome back. New release for you guys, the newly refreshed Nothing Ear 2s. $150, 129 pounds. I've been using these for a couple of weeks now and I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you. In this video, I'm gonna to try to break down whether these are worth getting, but I'm also going to try to explain why I think everyone has got this wrong. So let's get into it. If you haven't heard of Nothing before, then where have you been? No, just kidding. Nothing is a London-based tech company that started in 2020 with a heavy focus on product design. It was founded by Carl Pei, who also started OnePlus, and it's also got a pretty serious list of investors, from YouTuber Casey Neistat to Tony Fidel, the man behind the iPod. So yeah, they're not messing around. They released their first wireless earbuds in 2021 for $99, quickly followed up by the Nothing Phone 1 in 2022. Now I'm not gonna cover the phone in this video, but make sure you subscribe to the channel for my thoughts on the new upcoming Nothing Phone this year. So anyway, let's talk through the unboxing of these Nothing Ear 2s because you can tell that Nothing have put a lot of thought into this as usual. So you've got a little red tab here on the side, which if you pull, Ah, yeah, okay, complete fail there. Let's start again. Okay, that's much better. Nice, so inside you have this really minimal matte black box. Inside this sleeve, we have a really nice instruction manual with simple illustrations, which I really love. And then if we move the buds out of the way for a second, under here we have these little boxes. One of them has the additional two ear tip sizes so you can get the right fit for you. And the other has a USB-C charging cable, which I've got to be honest here, guys, is very small and actually the only thing I don't like the design of in here. And then of course we have the buds themselves. Before we get into the buds, let's talk about the case. I love the transparent design of this thing. Apart from just looking really cool, it just makes a lot of sense as you can easily see the buds at a glance. And actually that transparency is something you'll see as a core part of Nothing's design DNA across all of their products. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of a believer that the real beauty of a product lies in the engineering. We sort of set ourselves the challenge of working with transparency and I think what that was all about was really sort of pushing engineering to the forefront of everything that we do. When we work with transparency, Transparency, we have to work with a lot of things that are otherwise overlooked. I mean, ear one is really naked in a sense. So, In terms of what's new with this case, it's actually very similar to the previous case, except from being 3.1 millimeters smaller, which is great, but I still think the case could be smaller still. And then there's the fan favorite thumb indent on the case as well to make it easier to hold, but it also doubles as a fidget spinner. As expected, the case has a USB-C port for fast charging and it also supports wireless charging as well. This year, the case seems to be IP55 rated, giving it a limited amount of dust and water protection. The best thing about this case though is that it won't accidentally open when you don't want it to. My AirPods Pro Buds just seem to fall out all the time or open randomly in my back. No such issues with the Nothing case though, which is great, despite it also being a magnetic enclosure. The worst thing about this case though is that unfortunately the case material itself is incredibly susceptible to scratches, which is a massive problem. I've had these a couple of weeks and I've already got scratches on the case despite taking really good care of them. It's just inevitable, sadly, if something is made from polycarbonate, which is essentially just plastic. Covering up the case with a protective layer would just cancel out the benefit of having a transparent case in the first place, not to mention it would ruin the design. So this is definitely an area that nothing could do with fixing. 
Let's talk about the design of the buds themselves now. Once again, I love the translucency of these. It's just become a really distinctive feature. Overall, these are a very similar design to the previous model. I really like how the buds are color coded so you know which is right and which is left at a glance. And in terms of dimensions, they're half a millimeter longer this year, which is essentially negligible. And a key design element of these is their stems. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know how I feel about top heavy buds and how they have a tendency to slip out when you're being more active. So for me, this is a really great way to ensure the bud isn't top heavy, like the Pixel Buds or the Samsung Galaxy Buds, for example, meaning they're more secure in your ear. Of course, these stems double as controls, which are really easy to grab, especially when exercising. And speaking of exercising, I found these buds incredibly comfortable to wear. The fit of the first buds was really good, and these don't disappoint either. They've been great for running, didn't have any issues and felt really secure. And the different tip sizes mean you can customize the fit as well. So overall, I think the design is really solid with some minor improvements that's great to see. So what's new and what are some of the key technical features? Well, for starters, the battery life is both better and worse than the Ear 1s. With active noise cancelling off, nothing claims the Ear 2s offer 6.3 hours of battery and 36 hours including the charge from the case, which is slightly better than the Ear 1s at 5.7 and 34 hours respectively. But turn ANC on and those figures drop to 4 hours of playback, which is the same as the Ear 1s, and 22.5 hours with the case, which is slightly worse than the 24 hours claimed previously. So battery, not great. Once again, this new model features active noise cancellation, but this time it's actually adaptive, which is a nice touch, meaning it will increase or decrease depending on the noise around you. These also feature improved waterproofness with a rating of IP54 this year versus IPX4 in the previous gen which is always nice to see. May need to ensure rain and sweat don't interfere with the buds. We also now have improved controls with a transition to press controls or squeeze controls on the stem versus the touch controls that we had before, which to be honest, I think is a big improvement as touch controls can be very limiting and difficult to press quickly. And in theory, playing automatically pauses when you remove a bud from your ear, but this doesn't always work. And I found it's very inconsistent unlike something like the AirPods Pro. You've also got the option to build a personalized sound profile as well, which you do through the Nothing X app. And actually, it's well worth downloading the app to customize a bunch of settings, including being able to adjust the equalizer and setting up the buds properly. When it comes to arguably the most important element of the buds, I'm pleased to say that the sound quality has been significantly improved versus the first gen buds. The Nothing 2s this year have the LHDC codec, which in theory allows for 24-bit high-res audio if you're on the Android ecosystem and have one of the latest phones. If you're using an iPhone though, then unfortunately you're limited to Apple's ACC codec, which won't give you the same output quality. Bear in mind though that audio quality can vary massively depending on the device, as well as the audio app that you're using. For example, Apple Music, Tidal and Amazon Music will all allow you to output in 24-bit high res, whereas Spotify won't. So if you're using Spotify, then you're limited by the app at this moment anyway. If you're looking for more info on this, then definitely check out the links I put in the description. They're really helpful. There's also an upgraded Bluetooth antenna this year, but whilst the connectivity has been improved, it's definitely still quite shaky and doesn't match the consistency or range of Apple's AirPods. Even when the phone has been right next to the buds, pretty much every time I use these, there is a momentary glitch at random intervals especially when one of the buds is partially covered or if you're lying down. A nice connectivity upgrade this year though is the ability to connect more than one device with the addition of dual connection, which is really handy if you want to switch between your laptop or your phone or just any other devices you have lying around the house. And in terms of the microphone, it's actually pretty good. So I'm now recording on the Nothing 2 microphone, just so you guys can get a sense of what it sounds like. And as you can hear, it sounds quite impressive, particularly compared to the studio microphone that I'm using throughout this video. Speaking of cool quality, where these buds really suffer is the transparency mode. I've heard people giving this incredibly negative reviews, which I don't think is quite fair, but certainly in comparison to other wireless ANC headphones, it really isn't the best. So if that's something that's really important to you, then it's definitely worth considering. So how do these stack up versus the competition? And are these buds for you? Well, that's where things get really interesting. Essentially though, what this comes down to is two main things, price 
and utility. And this is where everyone seems to be getting it wrong, including myself. All the way throughout this video, I've been referencing competitor buds like the AirPods Pro to help provide reference points for how these buds compare. It's an obvious thing to do, given how widespread the AirPods Pro are, and given the similarities of design and features with the Nothing Ear 2s. You can be forgiven for falling into that trap, but it's completely wrong. And here's why. The AirPods Pro second generation currently sell for a whopping $249 or £239. That's 60% more expensive than these Nothing Ear 2s. In fact, if you're looking at true wireless buds that have noise cancelling capability, what you'll find is that all the major players have prices at $200 or above. The Sony M4s, $279. The Samsung Buds 2 Pro, $229. The Sennheiser M3s, $200. And the Pixel Buds Pro, $200. So with all that in mind, whilst it's tempting, it's not really fair to compare with these. Instead, we should be comparing with products in the same price category. The Nothing Ear 2s are $150, and the closest thing to that is Apple's baseline second gen AirPods, which are only $20 cheaper at $130. Yeah, you heard that right. Apple's standard AirPods, not even the Pros, and the old ones at that are $20 cheaper. They don't have active noise cancelling, they don't have adaptive transparency, and they offer a very similar battery life of five hours. So that's when you start to realize what you're getting here. My take on the new Nothing Ear 2s, considering the amazing utility you're getting relative to the associated price, these could well be the best tech bargain on the market at the moment. They're almost half the price of the latest AirPods Pro, but nowhere near half the utility. If you want the very best out there, then these probably aren't for you. But if you're a student or anyone who's on a budget, then these would be my go-to choice every single time. They won't work as seamlessly as some of the other buds out there, but from a pure audio quality perspective, they're definitely worth your attention. Not to mention, if you're planning on buying a Nothing phone at some stage as well, then all the more reason to look into these. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helps some of you to make up your minds. If you haven't seen my AirPods Pro 2 video yet, then definitely go and check that out, because I compare all the different ANC buds on the market. Let me know your thoughts, as usual, in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already, as it really helps me out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.